Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use const for action types. A common practice when working with Redux is to assign action types as read-only constants. Then reference these constants wherever they are used. You can refactor this code where you're working on with or that you're working with to write the action types as const declarations. So we want to declare log in and log out as const values and assign them to the strings log in and log out respectively. Okay, so we want to just go const login, and we're going to set this equal to a string uh, called login. And we're going to go const logout, set that equal to logout. So right, this 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 exercise is actually good because this is refactoring, and we want to uh, adjust the reducer so that it uses these. So here we've got login, so we can go login. Log out, log out. Okay, so now it's using the constants that we're defining up here. Uh, reference these constants instead of variables. The reducer. Um, cool. Let's run the test to see if they pass. Cool, it looks like we've got most of them. The action creators and the reducer should reference login and log out. Oh, the action creators and the reducers. Okay, so these are the creators. So here we're just going to change this to log in. And then here we'll change this to log out. Okay, so this is actually really useful. If you think about it, say you wanted to say like the... It's good to just declare your variables once and then use them multiple times. That way, if you have to change something within an application, you only have one sort of field at the top to alter. Um, this is refactoring. This exercise is refactoring, and this you'll end up doing a lot. This is a big part of uh, writing code. It's actually a really fun part when you get good at it because you start to see problems in your code that you can make better by doing some refactoring. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.